Today in cannabis news, to refrain from being on an island by itself in the middle of the Midwest, Indiana lawmakers assert their plans to pursue statewide cannabis legalization in the upcoming legislative session. First responder candidates in Austin, Texas, see new hiring rules in regards to past cannabis use. And a bipartisan team of Wisconsin lawmakers introduce a proposal for statewide cannabis decriminalization. It's Thursday, November 18th, and this is your Tricombs Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricombs.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, the Indiana Democratic Party asserted this week that in the 2022 legislative session, it will advocate for legalizing adult-use cannabis statewide. This week, we came out strong in support of legalization of marijuana in the Hoosier state. We kind of wanted to put a stake in the ground and say we're the party that is fully in support of this, said Indiana Democratic Party chairperson Mike Schmuel. Michigan and Illinois are among the 18 states and the District of Columbia that have legalized adult-use cannabis. Indiana, Shmuel argues, could lose out for a number of reasons if it is on an island by itself in the middle of the Midwest. Primary motivation is economic, because a considerable number of Indiana residents have been journeying to neighboring states to buy cannabis, and Indiana farmers are missing out on a literal cash crop. If the Indiana Republican Party chooses not to embrace the reform drive, Democrats will make it a prominent subject during the 2022 midterm elections, according to Schmuel. Next up, in Texas, Austin Travis County Emergency Medical Services has announced changes to its recruiting criteria to eliminate an outdated exclusion for applicants who have consumed cannabis in the past. Previously, every applicant who had consumed cannabis in the previous three years, including hemp and medical cannabis, was disqualified. The impetus for the modification came from a previous candidate who claimed they were withdrawn from consideration after revealing they had before consumed THC when living in a state where it was permitted to do so for adult use. According to Austin Travis County Emergency Medical Services Association President Selena Exai, the rule update was especially important because of the association's record of hiring first responders from other states and Texas's competitive emergency medical service programs. Given that THC is recreationally and medicinally legal in over half of the states, we're really reducing the number of people that can even apply to work for us. They still have to pass a drug screening, we still have randomized drug testing currently, and post-accident drug testing. So it hasn't changed any of that, XIE said, adding that the question is pretty antiquated at this point. Last up. Bipartisan Wisconsin Representatives Shea Sortwell and Sylvia Ortiz-Velez introduced a proposal this week to decriminalize the possession of cannabis statewide, marking a significant step forward in a state wherein cannabis policy reforms have languished in the Republican-majority state legislature, even with backing from its governor. The proposal aims to codify statewide decriminalization while a rising number of municipalities are separately pursuing cannabis policy reform. For an initial violation, the bill would render possession of a maximum of 14 grams of cannabis penalized by a $100 ticket rather than the prospect of incarceration. The proposal further eliminates the tracking of infractions involving below 28 grams of cannabis, ensuring that repeat offenders do not face harsher punishments. That was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry-related podcasts like Hash It Out, Tech and Cannabis, or the International Cannabis Conversation wherever you get your podcasts. For trichomes.com, I'm RJ Baldwin. And I'm Devin Leo. Have a great day.